once again, as I mentioned, you have this. These are tools you have in your toolkit to share with your loved ones, your friends and your family who may be worried about their metabolic health or they want to keep their metabolic health. Now, the three solutions built uh, upon three specific products. The first one was balance. That is the workhorse, of course, for unicity. My, uh, and you know a great deal about the product specifically and the specifically designed fiber that comes with it. Fiber is meant to come with any carbohydrate. In nature, carbohydrate always has fiber, but like I'd said, that's been stripped out because a company that wants you to buy more of their foods, their processed fake foods, they don't want the fiber in there because the fiber will, inc it will promote too much satiety. And you would eat their snacks and you'd be done. You'd be full. You wouldn't want any more. That's not good business. They want to ensure that you continue to eat it. And stripping out the fiber is a good way to make that happen. My suggestion, although your coaching um, might have some things that will deviate from this, and that is fine, but appreciate that when you take that fiber, you potentially, depending on what you're coupling it with, it, you eat the fiber and it depends on what you follow it up with, but assuming it's a sort of moderate mixed macronutrient meal where it has some carbohydrates, but it's not pure junk food like an ice cream, for example, but you can lower that insulin and that glucose curve you know, you eat that food and it spikes up your glucose and the insulin will follow it. You can depress that by up to 50%. The fiber will physically uh, alter the digestion of, the, of those carbohydrates. And so my suggestion is that whatever your biggest, most carbohydrate rich meal of the day is, and for me, that's dinner, you precede that meal by taking a balance. Now I, I mentioned for me, dinner's my biggest meal. I follow the activate principles with regards to nutrition. Indeed, those came from my brain. Control carbohydrates, prioritize protein and fuel with fat. The, the, the second two, the, the fuel with fat and prioritize protein, those are the basis, those two macronutrients of my breakfast and my lunch. I can perfectly control those meals. Me being, being very strict won't affect my family dynamic. My children, when I wake up and I'm making them breakfast, I, which I do every morning, they don't mind if daddy isn't eating the same thing they are, although the breakfasts I make for them are always very good. And then my lunch is strict. It's something that I will focus on to really fit those rules in. But dinner is dinner. Whatever my family is having, I will eat dinner with my family. So if my little 10-year-old wants to make dinner and she wants to make um, some pasta dish, some, some spaghetti, I'm going to eat everything she makes because she's my 10-year-old daughter and I love her to bits. I will eat dinner with the family, but because I know it will have more carbohydrate in it than I might want or more refined carbohydrate, I will then take the balance. So focus with balance on having that precede your most carbohydrate rich meal. That's the time to take it. In fact, let me flip that around a little bit. I believe you shouldn't be taking the fiber, the balance before you take the other products that I'll mention, namely fuel and especially base. With fuel, you could, you know, mate fuel, but you don't want to take it with base lest it, uh, or at least before it, if you took it with it, I, uh, maybe, but you don't want to mitigate absorbing those fats and those proteins. So if you are coupling with that, the, the balance with those products and it's been working, well, then I'll say, then I'd say stick with it, but don't feel the need to couple those uh, to, to proceed base or fuel with balance, let use balance by my estimation, the best way is before your most carbohydrate rich meal, or when you do have an indulgence, if you are going to have ice cream, because that's your family treat or whatever, I would still suggest you take it before that as well. Now, after one last comment on that, insofar, when I think about balance, I think about glycemic control. I think about controlling glucose and insulin, although there are other benefits such as blood lipid alterations. I focus more on glucose and insulin. That's my area of expertise. After you've had that most carbohydrate rich meal in the day, I strongly encourage you to get up and do something. After you've eaten, do not just go sit on the couch. If you just go for a, even a 10 minute walk, even if it's, if it's too cold to my friends in Canada and I'm a native from, I'm from Alberta, I know what winters can be like up there. Even if you're just roaming around the house a little bit, just stay active for about 10 minutes at least 
and you will significantly bring that glucose and insulin curve down. So a little bit of physical activity after your most carbohydrate rich meal is perfect.